You guys, if you watch this show at all, uh, you know uh, that I love Better Call Saul. And if you watch Better Call Saul, you know that Ray Seahorn's portrayal of Kim Wexler deserves 100 Emmys. And I'm very happy to say, please welcome back to the show, Emmy nominated, Ray Seahorn, everybody. <laughs> I'm so Thank happy you. to have you. Can Emmy nominated Seth Meyers. Thank you. Show. We both had a very nice day last week. Uh, we yes. both got very nice news. I was so genuinely happy uh, to hear that you got a long overdue Emmy nomination. Where Did you were you? Did you guys see the tweet he sent that morning? Uh, I Beth, was. You said that you were more happy for my. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> almost more happy for my nomination. Yes, I didn't lie. I said I was almost, almost as happy, yeah. It would be weird if you said more. Yeah, I think that I, I'm just not a good enough actor to pull it off. Like, awards mean nothing to me. I know. But my friend Ray. Um, but this is very exciting. Uh, you were, uh, I, I, read, I read an article about that you were overseas. You were on vacation when you got the news. Yes, I was in London for the first time. It was amazing uh, with my fiance. I should note, like, I feel like the last three years or so, there's been, like, talk of, like, Oh, wouldn't it be great if so? You probably had some expectation the last three years that you've had to deal with some like disappointment, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like it's it's hard. I mean, I think you're not supposed to care, but at the right. same time, you're sort of an ass if you don't care at all. Yeah. About, like somebody saying nice things like that. So, and then of course, um, you and critics and amazing fans have been lovely to me and saying that they want to be to be nominated. So yeah, I would sit there holding my my fiance's hand and the announcements to come out and we were like, all right, let's make oatmeal and uh, <laughs> we're just moving on. Um, and this year we were, I guess it was around 4.30 London time. Um, so I fully opted for day drinking. At, okay, gotcha, uh, <laughs> that's very smart. You know I approve. Right, you know I, I was approve. at the, uh, it's called the American, Bo American Bar at the Savoy Hotel and- um, That's really cool that you went to London and went to the American Bar. I know, okay. <laughs> There, by the way, there's did they, no... Did you go to McDonald's while you were there? You gotta go to the McDonald's. No, but they, <laughs> there are patriotic things. I'm not exactly sure why they call it that. It's just like it was in my little Lonely Planet guide. Okay, gotcha. Pretty. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I like the books. But um, we went and Jennifer Bryan, our costume designer from Better Call Saul, was there. And uh, I was just like, I'm putting my phone away. I'm just going to forget it. And... Um, and then my uh, fiance squeezed my hand because he was he was like I have a business deal and he's looking at something and then he said babe you just you just got it oh um, that's so exciting and then the whole bar knew and I didn't know they knew who I was and they brought champagne over and clapped for me oh <laughs> see if you were at if you were at the British bar they would have had no idea <laughs> <laughs> you were smart you played they it right they actually watched Saul a lot over there People I bet me a lot. I mean look I I think Saul uh, crosses all cultures it's a perfect show it does there's no reason and then did Thank you. I would imagine that. Uh, uh, the the rest of the day is then just sort of a perfect day, right? Because for me, it was it's that thing of uh, it's I'll, like I don't know if you have a, like a wave of just relief of like oh I don't have to like think about this anymore <laughs> yes. like whether or not but this will happen. But also I don't have to spend the day pretending that it doesn't matter. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, isn't that what you normally have to do? Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. all day long people are like you have to answer people's texts saying yeah. like. Oh my God, this is awful. You were snobbed. Blah, blah, blah. Just yeah. Like, you know. You right. I like, like I'm right. Totally in fine. another world, I'm saying to my wife, like, oh, look, it doesn't matter. We have three healthy kids where I barely care about that. You right. Know? <laughs> <laughs> right. Today, you get to be honest about your prayers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, look, I'm glad they're healthy. But, but I, I am Emmy nominated. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> I actually, it was very sweet because I, uh, I had gone out for, uh, like, uh, I had gone for a run and I came home and my, uh, my wife had made, the oldest son was holding a sign saying congratulations, uh, which was really sweet. And then they, my kids were really excited and then he, uh, the, the six-year-old turned to give me a hug and just whacked the four-year-old in the back of the head with a sign. <laughs> and it was, it was that, uh, it really was a very sweet grounding moment because in that <laughs> moment I was like, oh, I'm actually, I feel worse that my four-year-old got like, T-bone by this sign. Right. <laughs> then yeah. I feel good that you know, I got a nomination. Priorities. Yeah. I like it. Um, and then but also uh, you were day drinking. Yeah, I was. I was day drinking too. <laughs> even though it was the time difference was it was way too early. Totally here. fine. Yeah. Totally fine. <laughs> um, uh, you. I. I want to stress if anybody's watching this and worried about spoilers. I don't want anything spoiled for me. I don't okay. want to spoil the show for anybody else. And we are in a weird time right now where we're having an interview before tonight's episode airs. But when this airs, that will have happened. Okay. So this is a weird like. Like we're in a, a temporal like donut hole. Oh uh, yeah, it's a, it's a cool. But uh, so don't give anything away. But I know uh, because it's been announced that Carol Burnett uh, 
Yes. Was, is, is going to be in, in one of the upcoming episodes. Have you met her? I have met her one time, and it is She's like- She's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm super sharp, super funny. Yep. And the most important thing, and I don't know if you feel this way about when you meet people you look up to, super nice. Incredibly nice. Yeah. yeah, she's one of those people where, I mean, to me, she, obviously she's a legend to lots of people. She's a hero to me and just an icon and someone I've admired forever. And so you never know what it's going to be like when you meet those people. She could not be nicer. She could not be more genuine and generous. And she's a huge fan of the show. And so when they said, Carol wants to know if you want to go to uh, dinner, um, I was so excited, and I, and I went, and I was, I was shaking, and she started asking me about Kim Wexler scenes, like, in detail. She's a huge Kim Wexler fan, <laughs> and then I burst into tears. <laughs> like, she's just, I mean, it's Carol Burnett. She's yeah. just, I, I, I can't say enough, enough nice things about her. And she walks around with these little cards. They're the cutest thing. If you can find one on eBay, get one. Um, they're, it's a little uh, uh, caricature that was drawn of her, I think by a famous artist that her husband made that says Carol's Cosmo. And it has the recipe for the particular way she likes her Cosmo because when she travels all the time, her husband wanted her to have the comfort of the drink that he usually makes for her perfectly. And, uh, oh, that's so, she, so yeah, sweet. Yeah, she gives it to the restaurant when she, um, when, uh, when she gets there and it's, it's amazing. Because she is, uh, the two things I've heard about her is she's like one of the nicest people in the world, but if you get her drink wrong, she loses her <laughs> And heavy drink. No, <laughs> exactly. No, she does. I think it's you know. It's just, I, I think it's also must be, be so nice because I think that, and I, this speaks to how intricately plotted it is, and how uh, wonder how much work has gone into Better Call Saul. No one could fake that they watch it. Does that make sense? Oh, true. Like, if, yeah. When she starts telling you she likes the show and asking about it, like it must be so. Uh, Rewarding to know, oh, this is definitely somebody who's paying attention to she, uh, she does, yeah, she does. And like, where do you see what she does in the show? I, she, of course, everybody knew that she's uh, tremendously talented and an amazing actress, but I, I had never seen her do the breadth of work that you're about to see. That's very exciting. It's and that's a amazing. perfect spoiler-free uh, teaser. You're very good at this. Thanks. <laughs> You, um, By the way, I, I have had somebody fake that they've seen the show. Really? Yeah, drunk, did, drunk guy at a party that was like going you... on and on about how much he loved it, and then he asked me who I play. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, the blonde woman. Oh no, <laughs> that's really bad. Like yeah. he didn't seem to have much really of a bad. plan at all. No, um, no plan. You, uh, uh, you filmed in Albuquerque, mm -hmm. and I did not realize that you, uh, your roommates over the course of the last few seasons were uh, your co-stars, uh, Bob Odenkirk and, and Patrick Fabian. Yes. So how did that start, that you decided all to live together? Well, we kept having to, we all lived apart and we were in different rentals there and uh, constantly needed to rehearse scenes. We'd rehearse them ad nauseum and run the lines and talk about the scenes. And uh, it's very hard with people doing 14 hour days and late nights trying to meet up. And then also it's just very lonely. And all of our spouses are friends and partners are friends and families are friends. And um, eventually Bob said, uh, I think it was like season three, he said, do you and Patrick want to get a house together? <laughs> I said no for that season because it's one of those things where like when you get out of college and a friend wants like, we were really close friends. You yeah. can ruin that really fast. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I was like, this is like, why ruin a good thing? So they lived together down the street. Um, and Patrick Fabian put like rock posters on their doors and made it into this really bad college house. <laughs> um, but uh, I, had, I just ended up spending every, every free time, all my free time down there anyway. So then the following year, I said yes. And so for three, I guess three, the last season we lived together for a year, because it took a year to shoot 13 episodes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was And your very friendship close. survived. It did. Did you ever live with them? I mean, you've known Bob forever. No, but I've never lived with them. I've almost lived with you no TV it. stars, yeah. No? <laughs> <laughs> um, I have so much more to ask. Uh, we'll be right back with more from Ray Seahorn, everybody.